A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, O Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick black clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered for you. The rams of Nebioth shall be your sacrifices. They will be acceptable offerings on my altar and I will enhance the splendor of my house. What are these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their coats? All the vessels of the sea are assembled, with the ships of Tarshish in the lead. To bring your children from afar with their silver and gold, in the name of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel who has glorified you. Foreigners shall rebuild your walls, and their kings shall be your attendants. Though I struck you in my wrath, yet in my good will I have shown you mercy. Your gates shall stand open constantly. Day and night they shall not be closed, but shall admit to you the wealth of nations and their kings in the vanguard. For the people or kingdom shall perish, that does not serve you. Those nations shall be utterly destroyed. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you, the cypress, the plain, and the pine, to bring beauty to my sanctuary and glory to the place where I set my feet. The children of your oppressors shall come, bowing low before you. All those who despised you shall fall prostrate at your feet. They shall call you City of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Once you were forsaken, hated, and unvisited. Now I will make you the pride of the ages, a joy to generation after generation. You shall suck the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breasts. You shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. In place of bronze, I will bring gold. Instead of iron, silver. In place of wood, bronze. Instead of stones, iron. I will appoint peace your governor and justice your ruler. No longer shall violence be heard of in your land or plunder and ruin within your boundaries. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No longer shall the sun be your light by day, nor the brightness of the moon shine upon you at night. The Lord shall be your light forever. Your God shall be your glory. No longer shall your sun go down or your moon withdraw. For the Lord will be your light forever, and the days of your mourning shall be at an end. Your people shall all be just. They shall always possess the land. They, the bud of my planting, my handiwork to show my glory. The smallest shall become a thousand, the youngest a mighty nation. I, the Lord, 
will swiftly accomplish these things when their time comes. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from a sermon by St. Leo the Great, Pope. The loving providence of God determined that in the last days He would aid the world, set on its course to destruction. He decreed that all nations should be saved in Christ. A promise had been made to the holy patriarch Abraham in regard to those nations. He was to have a countless progeny, born not from his body, but from the seed of faith. His descendants are therefore compared with the array of the stars. The father of all nations was to hope not in an earthly progeny, but in a progeny from above. Let the full number of the nations now take their place in the family of the patriarchs. Let the children of the promise now receive the blessing in the seed of Abraham, the blessing renounced by the children of his flesh. In the persons of the Magi, let all people adore the creator of the universe. Let God be known not in Judea only, but in the whole world, so that his name may be great in all Israel. Dear friends, now that we have received instruction in this revelation of God's grace, let us celebrate with spiritual joy the day of our first harvesting, of the first calling of the Gentiles. Let us give thanks to the merciful God who has made us worthy, in the words of the Apostle, to share the position of the saints in light, who has rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. As Isaiah prophesied, the people of the Gentiles who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who dwelt in the region of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. He spoke of them to the Lord, the Gentiles who do not know you will invoke you, and the peoples who knew you not will take refuge in you. This is the day that Abraham saw and rejoiced to see, when he knew that the sons born of his faith would be blessed in his seed, that is, in Christ. Believing that he would be the father of the nations, he looked into the future, giving glory to God in full awareness that God is able to do what he has promised. This is the day that David prophesied in the Psalms when he said, All the nations that you have brought into being will come and fall down in adoration in your presence, Lord, and glorify your name. Again, the Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. This came to be fulfilled, as we know, from the time when the star beckoned the three wise men out of their distant country and led them to recognize and adore the King of heaven and earth. The obedience of the star calls us to imitate its humble service, to be servants as best we can of the grace that invites all men to find Christ. Dear friends, you must have the same zeal to be of help to one another. Then, in the kingdom of God, to which faith and good works are the way, you will shine as children of the light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>